Today, I'm going to be talking about podcasting as it relates to promotions and marketing. I'll talk about the purpose of a podcast and how it can help you reach a wider audience, how it can be monetized, and how effective it is as a tool for marketing yourself and your content. The purpose of podcasts is varied, as there are hundreds of different topics they might cover, but generally they aim to entertain, educate, or connect with their audience. Podcasts may feature creators you are familiar with from somewhere else, such as TV or music. This aspect helps podcasts start out with a substantial audience from which they can reach ever more listeners. Entertainment-based podcasts may consist of celebrity gossip, insider peeks into certain areas of the entertainment industry, or fantasy murder mysteries acted out by your favorite entertainers. Podcasts that focus on connection may be based on storytelling from guests that are all across the world, or even be based on a common dilemma that many people share. Educational podcasts are very popular as they can be absorbed while on the go and provide the listener with a more positive outcome as they are actively learning. These topics are perhaps the most widely ranging from history to archaeology to health and fitness. The possibilities are truly endless when it comes to podcasting. There are many reasons someone may choose to start a podcast. If you already have a platform and create content, there is almost no reason not to. Starting a podcast can help you reach a wider audience of people who are interested in your particular subject matter. For example, if you are a creator on YouTube and your channel is about cooking meals throughout history, you can supplement that channel and reach a wider audience of people who are interested in food and history by starting a podcast to accompany your pre-existing modes of content. Starting a podcast can also just be a really good outlet for someone who is looking to develop and share their knowledge of a topic which deeply interests them. Podcasts are very inexpensive to get started and require minimal tools right off the bat. Obviously, there are levels in terms of how good your recording equipment is, but that's pretty much all you need. Some people choose to record their podcasts as videos and release them on YouTube as well, but podcasts are made to be listened to and therefore do not require video equipment like a lot of other content does. Podcasts can also work wonders for sales as they create repetitive touch points for customers to be introduced to specific or multiple products that you're selling, whether that be merchandise or music or something else. Podcasts have always had multiple ad breaks in between, so the marketing is based baked into the media very seamlessly, especially if what you're marketing relates to the podcast topic or hosts in some way. Lastly, podcasts can boost your SEO by creating links to websites and YouTube channels and adding them to the podcast, you can get people to visit your other sites and also have your podcast pop up when people search the name. Here are some examples of all the many different kinds of podcasts there are out there. A podcast can be a great outreach tool because it is meant to be listened to on the go and people can multitask while absorbing the content fairly well. This means you will reach the people who are too busy to sit down and watch something or read something. Listening to podcasts can be a ritual for many people and your podcast could become part of their daily lives. All you have to do is market your podcast effectively. Marketing and promoting a podcast can encompass many different things. In order to get your podcast to reach as many people as possible, you'll want to explore many of these avenues as you can. First, you'll want to choose a strategic name which will make it easier for listeners to find. You want the name to be free of fluff and something your ideal listener cares about. You'll also want to have your content planned out, that way listeners can depend on it and make it part of their routine. If you go too hard on the sales at first, you'll lose the listener's interest. A good strategy can be to Google keywords for your podcast topic and see what comes up, then make episodes about those things. Preparing a promotional plan for the launch of your podcast can also help ensure you will have a substantial audience from the start. This includes pushing the podcast on all social medias and paying for your show to be promoted on popular podcasts within the same subject matter as yours. 
Dedicating a portion of your website to your podcast can also be a good idea. Once your show gets going, you may want to set up cross promotions with other podcasts in the same area as yours. Another smart thing to set up is a tour featuring the host of the podcast. Many listeners will want to get up close and personal even with the podcasts. Some promotional tactics you can use once your show gains traction are to have a good SEO strategy and make sure your podcast is easy to find online, as well as using TikToks and YouTube to offer different ways to enjoy the content for your listeners. Lastly, to keep listeners engaged, it can be beneficial to create a smaller sub-series within your show about more niche subjects. Podcast listening actually increased during the pandemic, with people looking for content and film sets not being operational. Podcasts thrive because they can be done in advance and remotely. Post-pandemic podcast listening has stayed steady as people have woven them into their daily routines and have become accustomed to that new mode of content. Making your show as engaging as possible can help ensure listeners will stay and share the show with others. In 2023, there is projected to be $2.17 billion in ad spending across podcasts, so sponsorships are a great way to monetize your show. Advertisers are attracted to podcasts because their ads are more likely to be heard, as opposed to other platforms. Consider that the average YouTube video is 11.7 minutes long, and yet, according to one company's analysis of more than 56,000 YouTube videos across four channels, only about 50 to 60% were watched. In contrast, the average podcast episode is 20 to 40 minutes long, and 80% of listeners consumed all or most of each episode. Interacting with your audience is also a great way to keep them engaged and excited about the show, thus retaining more listeners. Advertising your show on other platforms and podcasts is a great way to increase profits from monetization. Analytics are a key tool for marketing and fine-tuning your podcast. If you know who is listening and how much, you'll be able to adjust your show and your advertisements accordingly. Some key metrics to look at would be how many episodes are downloaded, which listening platforms and apps your audience is using, geographic and demographic information about your listeners, total time listened per episode, and the percent of audience who is subscribed to slash following you. Because podcasts are generally audio only, they allow the creator ease of production and transmission. Being more engaging than music, but not, necess- but not necessitating your full focus, also makes them the perfect fit for multitaskers. You can also enhance your show and engage your listeners by playing around with the sound engineering and creating an atmosphere for your show. Podcasting allows you to really explore the story behind you, your brand, or your passion. This can help enhance your presence on other platforms. Going in-depth can also help your listeners form a deeper connection with you and your show, and therefore help you gain recognition. Lastly, making a podcast can allow you to start a long-term relationship with your audience. One you, once you become a part of their daily routines, there is no limit to how far your podcast can go.